What's up guys, it's Corey here with Dapper Dollars and today I want to talk about how I got out of the lower tiers and what I think is going to be the best practices for beginners getting into merch to actually put themselves on a path to victory whenever they get started. So, let's get started. Now, before we get into this, make sure you stay tuned to the end for a pretty hilarious blooper. I don't usually put bloopers on my YouTube videos, but this one I killed myself whenever I watched it. But uh, anyway, all right, so beginners getting into merch. First thing is you're probably gonna start out on tier 10. If you're not tier 10, then congratulations, you have escaped hell. But tier 10 is officially the worst. It's that place where you only have one upload a day and you've only got 10 slots, so you're really just limited as far as what you can do. But this is really, what I appreciate the most out of the Merch by Amazon program because it separates the people who are actually willing to work from the people who just want to try to make free money online. Now, whenever you're in this tier, the only thing you can really do is hustle. That's the only thing that's going to make a difference whenever you're in tier 10 because you only only got one upload a day. So you've got to make that thing count. And the best thing that you could do is follow Mike Gwal's local merch strategy. If you don't know who Mike Gual is, look at um, Glenn and Young uh, Merch Minds. They've done a podcast with him where he talks about local merch. Uh, I think RJ and Matt have done a uh, interview with Mike Gual. But if you put Mike Gual merch onto YouTube, you're going to find a whole bunch of uh, really neat interviews that highlight how he goes about going into the community and uh, finding people who need shirts. But in the end, everyone knows someone who needs a t-shirt made, whether it's a church you go to or a church you know of, you know, a family reunion, maybe someone who's a personal trainer and uh, construction workers. The reason I say personal trainer and construction worker is because those are the two that I started with. I did Got Gains, Body by JJ and a construction worker. And these guys helped me get out of the tier, the lower tiers because within about a week, they you know, ordered about 20 something shirts and I got bumped up to tier 25. So make sure you do the necessary steps to get out of tier 10. This is the only way you're gonna get out in my opinion, unless you just you know, find a unicorn and you've already been doing merch and you just happen to start a new account for the fun of it. So get out of tier 10, make sure you find someone in your family, someone you know, someone in your community who needs shirts, put them up on merch, and don't forget to actually pay yourself. Don't make the mistake of putting them up for like $13.99 and only making 70 cents, 70 cents, I think it's 70 cents for $13.99, but actually get paid for your time because take this seriously that you're a business owner and you need to get paid for your time. So next you're going to move on to tier 25. Tier 25 you get a whole, I think two to five slots, two to five slots a day. But uh, yeah, two to five slots a day and you've got 25 slots to fill. In this uh, tier you're going to want to keep focusing on the um, local merch program you know, do what's working because now you've seen some success, you know how to repeat it, so just keep it going. You're probably only gonna be in these lower tiers if you work hard for about two months at the most. Now, this is where most people are gonna flake out because they've seen success, they've made progress, but they're probably not getting there as fast as they wanna be and so most of them are going to flake out at this point because Amazon merch is now officially too saturated and they've probably started throwing up designs that aren't selling on the Merch by Amazon program and they're just not selling. So most people are going to drop off, but this is where you need to stick to it and just keep doing what's already working for you. Keep doing the local merch strategy and while you're in tiers uh, 25, 10 and 25, make sure you're using the profits that you're getting for Merch Informer. If you don't know what Merch Informer is, there's going to be a link to it below. And it's going to help you to 
find trends. You know, they have a whole bunch of tutor tutorials inside of Merch Informer, so to find the trends as a beginner, you might not know, but uh, go to the Merch Hunter section and I'll try to do some screenshots. Go to the Merch Hunter section in Merch Informer once you have a subscription. Leave that page blank, the search bar blank, and just hit search after you've also set the filter for a thousand or top 1,000, uh, 100,000 and under. And then this is gonna bring up all of the shirts on Merch by Amazon that are like trending. Most of these shirts, if they're ranked under 100,000, they're either really super popular or they're gaining steam and they're a trend that's coming up and that you can jump on. But uh, learn to recognize those and then get into the merch archive section of Merch Informer so that you can start looking ahead 180 days and get ideas for what's selling. Remember, you're still not designing for these trends because you don't want to waste your slots. You just want to plan and start seeing what has sold that is coming up 180 days from where you are now. This is really going to get you in the, uh, the practice of thinking into the future because the worst thing you can do in, on merch is sit on your heels, wait for the holiday, and then, you know, Halloween's coming up, it's about two months away. So this is whenever most people need to start like grinding and figuring out what they're gonna do as far as Halloween, not October 1st, start throwing up Halloween designs. Some people can do it because they're amazing designers and amazing marketers, but for the majority of people, you need to think 180 days ahead so your designs have time to, one, be seen, two, sell, and three, rank, so that whenever those trends do happen or when the Awareness, another thing is check out Awareness Month, sorry. Gonna backtrack a little bit. Check out Awareness Month as well. I'll link to the Awareness Month tracker that I use here and down below. And remember, I try to do most of this stuff from memory, so if you could just like and subscribe below. I'm not sure which side it's gonna be on, but uh, like and subscribe. I really appreciate getting to know all the people that are uh, enjoying this content and you know let me know in the comments below what tier you're on because you know I really care about you guys and I want to see you get out of these lower tiers and into a position that you can actually make money in so anyway getting out of tier 25 still focus on local merch start looking at trends don't waste your slots and try to chase trends just yet but just do what's working and don't be one of those people that gets weeded out now, tier 25, I've got it written down, 100, tier 100. You now have 10 slots per day. I remember whenever I hit tier 100, I thought that I had made it. I thought this is where all merch people were at that were making serious money because, I mean, who could possibly fill 10 shirts a day if they're designing their own t-shirts? Well, it turns out once you get pretty good at this, it's not that hard to do. So, anyway... This is whenever you can start chasing trends and when you should only be chasing trends. Do not focus on evergreen. You can give up local merch if you want, but that's it. Do not focus on evergreen just yet. You wanna chase these trends, keep using Merch Informer, and get a feel for how things work. At this point, if you followed all these steps and you've done it right, you should be about two to three months in so it's not going to be that difficult to start get, start seeing a lot of progress once you get the ball rolling and at this point you should have a few designs up you're going to know what trends are coming up that you need to design for you're going to have those design ideas ready and you're going to be able to capitalize whenever those trends come around so tier fifth tier 100 uh, just keep filling all those slots with trending design ideas. That's awareness months. That's like the trends that you might be seeing coming up in Merch Informer. And if you need more advice on how to search for those like spur of the moment trends, 
then uh, Matt and RJ have a great uh, great video on how to do that. It's, they just go into a little bit more depth than I will in this video because I don't want it to be too long of a video. I'll link it below. So anyway, you have now escaped tier 100. You are in the elite class of mergers. Now you're in tier 500. This is whenever you need to keep pursuing the uh, trends on merch by Amazon, but you also should look at picking one evergreen niche to, uh, that was like niche and niche all in the same time. I made everybody happy. Anyway, so pick one evergreen niche niche that you're interested in and go all in. Do not be one of those people who just spams 30 evergreen niches and s tries to see which one works. You know, I know people have that idea of, oh, 40 hooks in the water is better than two. Like, yeah, well, 40 hooks in the water where fish might not be is not such a great idea. So why not go into, when I say evergreen niches, go into a saturated evergreen niche. This is where, you know, the whole first page is filled up with really low BSR. So like between 75,000 and 300,000 on the first page, there's nothing but reviews on the first page and go into these niches and do the right research. I'll, uh, I made a video on how to do proper research into evergreen niches, and I'll also link that down below. That just really outlines what it takes to get to know niches really well, how to find one, and how to do the right research to be successful and put designs up that people haven't done yet that are guaranteed, basically guaranteed to sell. So, yeah, tier 500, keep chasing trends, pick one evergreen niche and with the trends I would keep chasing trends until you've been doing merch for about a year until you've been doing merch for one whole calendar year you don't really know what to expect or just what kind of volume is really gonna happen with these uh, these monthly trends like the first time you experience St. Patrick's Day uh, 100th day of school and a few other things. It's just, you don't understand until it happens. So anyway, make sure you chase those trends, pick one niche, and then make it happen. <clears throat> now, once you've elevated past the uh, 500, tier 500, sorry, there's something happening in the background, I'm not sure what it is. Tier 500, um, Make sure you do a 70-30 one way or the other. I do 70% of my designs as evergreen and 30% as trends. I'm basically taking calculated bunts at what I think are impactful trends that are gonna eventually turn into evergreen. And most of my focus is on actual evergreens though. Just because once we get into Christmas, you're gonna see that evergreen is bonkers whenever it takes off during Christmas time and so yeah go one way or the other either be that person that chases trends all the time or be that person who really goes deep into evergreen and uh, succeeds that way so that's how to get out of the lower tiers and the path you should take as a beginner to actually have success in Merch by Amazon so Get ready for that blooper. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it was entertaining to me. I thought it was funny. Even looking at myself, I thought it was funny. But uh, anyway, remember to like and subscribe and let me know if this was helpful and let me know what tier you're on in the comments below and if there's any way I can help you get out of those tiers. And someone's gonna do something amazing every day, guys. Why not you? See ya. This is a test to see if I'm actually looking at the camera. Let's see if it works.